Hey guys, uh, guys and girls, um, how's it going? Um, my name is Juan, I am a uh, senior animator at Industrial Light and Magic here in London, uh, in the London studio. Um, I've, been the studio I've been in the studio now for almost six years and today I will be demoing, um, I guess virtually, uh, um, I'm going to be recording this, uh, this video for you guys. Um, it is a uh, masterclass, uh, I guess it's an intermediate masterclass in animation and I will be displaying um, I'll be displaying what I want to show with our Bumblebee um, with our Bumblebee model. Um, hopefully you guys are familiar with this guy. Um, we've been given the get-go to, to do the demo with this which is which is fantastic so um, what better than, than to use this this fellow, right? Such a famous guy. This is a guy from uh, this is a guy. This is a character from uh, the last uh, Transformers movie, um, uh, Bumblebee, basically. Yeah. So um, so here we go. Um, basically, I guess the way to to start this is I just kind of loaded this this uh, rig uh, here. I I was told you guys are familiar with uh, some sort of animation already in Maya. For you guys that don't know, this this 3D software we're using here is called Maya. Let me let me display. Um, um, I display. Heads up display. I think our cameras are being hit right now. Camera names here. Here perspective. Mm -hmm. All right. So here we go. So this is Bumblebee, and today, yeah, we're gonna be doing a um, a masterclass animation. So uh, I will be showing you guys how I set up this shot, which has been already done uh, by me uh, uh, before, and um, mainly to illustrate the purpose, because it, you know, it's something that uh, would take me more than the given time, basically. So uh, I just want to make sure that uh, you know I had all my files and and all the stuff ready, so I could I could show you guys. So so here we go. Yeah. Um, so it's it's not. I'm not gonna be doing it live because otherwise it would take probably a few days. This is a massive scene that I did, and uh, it would really take me a lot a lot of time. So okay, here. So this is my. As you guys know, you have you know top view, perspective view, um, top perspective, front and side right. I already set up a camera for this, um, which I'm gonna be dropping. If you drag and drop here. Uh, you can see uh, I've already created a reference, um, and I will go into um, into some detail uh, on this uh, as we as we go. And um, I'm just going to share with you some some ways in which I work, basically. Um, so I like to work uh, with the camera view up here. Uh, the camera, if you select the camera it's locked, the attributes are locked, so I don't, you know, it's very easy to go in and just kind of like, oh, I want to go in, you know, see the, beep, you know, the arm here, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, it's very easy to mess it all up, right? So, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, for just for security reasons, I'm just going to lock this and, um, and yeah, hopefully, you know, you guys uh, are okay with that and, you know, everyone works differently, this is how I work. Uh, so this is a camera view. And in here, I basically work. It could be perspective. Right now, it's perspective. Um, I can switch from here. I can go to top view. You know, if you know, you go here. You go top view, uh, front view, top view, whatever. Basically, whatever uh, camera you wanna, you know, you wanna work with, you basically go with this camera here. I, I I have this little button here that allows me to toggle perspective. You know, even camera, all these little you know things. So uh, that's what I do, and down here, although I have a side camera right now, what I will be using here always is my graph editor. That's what I use. Um, so, um, so yeah, let's let's um, let's talk about a you know a little bit. Uh, I'm just gonna go a little bit uh, in detail on this character, as you can see. Uh, right now, the shot is starting, as you can see, in frame 238, which is not ideal. Oh yeah. Also, by the way, this is how I use Maya. Uh, this is this is how I choose to work. I, I choose to basically have a big, big work in file. Um, it's like a you know white canvas, a white paper that you can draw on. I used to come from two D animation, so I like to I like to have big canvases. I don't really. I'm not a big fan of like very very small like 
little, you know, thingies like, I can't select anything, what control is that? So I like to have a very, very big uh, canvas. Uh, and I also use some hotkeys to sh display curves and stuff like that. So if you see that, don't, don't be alarmed. And I have this little marking menu here that I select geo joints uh, and that's it basically that's all I want an x-ray that's about everything I work with so you'll be seeing me do that a lot so I'm just giving you guys a heads up all right so bumblebee right so uh, as you can see he is a very very detailed character uh, extremely detailed and this is the um, this is a high-res character that we actually use for the movie you can see he is incredibly um, this is a uh, by the way, this is just uh, gray shaded mode. Uh, it, it's not texture mode. Uh, I'll just uh, switch the textures right now. It's pretty similar, really. But uh, there you go, some textures. And I created some lights. It doesn't really change much. But um, but yeah, you can, you can see the difference, you know, from this to that. Or, you know, you can go texture mode. Uh, well, this is gray shaded, but it has textures already. And it's kind of cool. You can add lights or, or not. But uh, here's the textures. So, um, yeah, the characters we have in ILM are very, very detailed, um, and it's great, uh, honestly, that they're allowing me to do this for you guys and, and show this really cool and such an iconic character. Um, I would have done it with Optimus, but I, I think this is pretty more, it's, it's a bit more funny, so, um, so yeah, I wanted to display. I basically, in, in this assignment that I, I, I did in my, um, for this, uh, for this demo, the intention was to basically getting Bumblebee to not do cool hero stuff because he's a you know he's he's a bit of a of a badass and he likes to like you know be in, in fights and this and that so um, he's always like the hero character or he's being beat up or he's beating someone up right so there was gonna be none of that here I just wanted to make something both challenging and fun to do uh, mostly challenging uh, and just making it look as realistic as possible um, while I animated this. Uh, that was, that was the, you can see how detailed the mesh is. It's unbelievable, right? Um, oh, we can go into detail on this, like, I mean, there's so many cool things, so many cool features. You can see all the controllers that we have for Bumblebee. Um, basically, this is what we're going to be using to pose our character. I will do a quick uh, posing test. And then I'll go in some detail, um, uh, in some detail with this. So, um, so yeah. Hopefully, you guys, uh, you guys enjoy it. Uh, you, here you have all the different, you know, all the different controls. We can, you know, we can, we can rotate this. These are the wheels, right? You can, you know, you can do this, and you can animate all this. Uh, by the way, I'm also starting two thirty eight because this is uh, frame two thirty eight. Usually I would go to frame one, but for some reason, because of the reference, I had to start in this frame. But don't be alarmed or scared or anything. That's not how we do things here. We usually start in frame frame one. So yeah, that's where I would start. It's very easy. Just you know, select everything and move there. But because of the reference that I selected and how I edited it, uh, this is the frame that I choose to start in. It's fine. It's a test, but not if I had to do a shot of work, I would start everything would start in frame one. Okay. Alrighty then. So I'm going to go back to this uh, t texture mode, uh, non-texture mode actually. Um, so, um, so yeah, as you can see, we are, uh, you know, every, every character has these, these little curves here, right? These little colorful uh, curves. This is the way characters are set up in ILM. And each one of these curves basically is a controller with which we, we basically pose the character um, to create motion, right? This is the default pose that uh, Bumblebee comes in. As you can see, it's not the, the classic T pose. This is a classic default pose that some characters are posed in ILM when we bring them into the shot. And um, and you can see, like I say, you, you, before before I start animating anything, I like to take some time and, and basically see what it is. You have to basically study the rig, the puppet. You know, In some other places, they call it the puppet. Because at the end of the day, these are digital puppets that we're, you know, puppeteering. So, um, so yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Um, <laughs> we're animating puppets, but in ILM, call them rigs. But I take some time to study what it is that every control does. Basically, every curve does. It's like, okay, what happens? Uh, you know, what is this? It's like, okay, I don't think I'm going to be moving that too much. You know. Um, 
I mean, I, I can move this a little bit maybe to get some jitter and stuff. You know, uh, we have the way this characters uh, the characters are set up. We have a move control in Isla, and which is this um, the square guy uh, that moves, translates in space, 3D space. And we have these um, rotate controls basically on the hands. On the feet, we only have one guy to do both. It's basically translate and rotate with the same guy. So, yeah, sometimes this can be confusing, um, but we can we can also you know constrain the locators. It's pretty open in them. You can you can kind of do whatever you know whatever it is you want. So um, it's really cool. I love it. Um, but this is generally how things are set up. But yeah, I take I take my time to um, to explore the character, see what I can do with all this stuff, and see. You know, it's like, oh, cool! Look at these doors. I can, you know, I can make them move later on. We have these little rotate controllers here. Um, I think uh, these are for the spine. Yeah, I, I won't be using that, <laughs> not at all. Yeah, I'll be using mostly. I will probably mostly be using the chest control, which is this yellow guy over here, to get my rotations and stuff. Right now, yeah. See, I'm doing this and this there. Uh, some of this, you know, some translate rotate. And then we have the root. We have some offsets, uh, as you can, if you can see. Uh, if I hide, uh, if I hide my polygons, you see basically what this is like. You know, we have the main, the main control here, which is the uh, the body con. I'm going to display um, polygons so you guys can see the character. And um, and we have some offsets in the middle to create some, you know, offset anim. Uh, we can move all this stuff. Obviously, that would break it. But here we can do some hip animation if we wanted to, not too much because the character becomes a bit disjointed. So we have to be careful with what we do um, uh, with these little controllers. Same in the same in the chest. Uh, we have uh, we have this guy which basically kind of does this. As you can see, I'm rotating the chest, but the arms stay uh, where they are. And if not, we have the main chest controller right now, which basically moves everything, mainly because the arms are in. Uh, in, in local space. Um, right here if we go, sorry I have to select the translate, not the rotate. If I select this guy here, uh, space, uh, local, I can go to world, I can choose to have the world, as you can see, that moves somewhere in the world over there, which is fine <laughs> right now, but that basically what would, I just want to show you guys what that will do basically is if I move the torso, as you can see the arm um, I mean, I will have to bring this control here. Let's just bring this guy uh, a little bit closer to where he is, just just to show what the what the result is. I don't know if you guys are familiar with world and local spaces. So it used to be in local before. So whatever it was inheriting the rotates and translates from the body, and now, as you can see, it's not. It's not anymore. So if you move this guy, he is gonna stay there. All right. When I um, when I start, I'm just gonna do what I did. Um, so we're back to square one. When I start posing my characters, um, I like to uh, have everything in uh, in local space, um, just because it's, well, actually it depends on what it is I'm doing. Sometimes I may start in local and then I might go to world, but that really depends on what it is we're doing, you know? Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna work in a pose to pose, um, I'm going to work in a post-to-pose -pose approach uh, on the shot. So um, so here we go. Yeah, um, hope you guys enjoy it. I, I will do some poses, basically. I will do some poses and... Uh... Sorry, I was just drink some water. What I'll do is I will pose this guy um, and I will show you guys uh, what it is I'm doing. So as you can see, well, I'm just going to... Uh, hide the camera so I don't get that annoying line there. So here we go. Basically, um, I've and I've chosen as you can see I've chosen this reference. I'll let me play the reference for you guys. It's pretty funny. It's a it's a good friend of mine. Um, oh, sorry, uh, wrong one. I always do that. Whoops. Ignore me. Polygons and image planes. There you go. Let's hide polygons. Oh yeah, that's fine. Okay, so this is references from a very very old animation mentor. Um, Creatures on Demand is a, uh, a guy I ended up getting to know. It was a really nice guy, Will Groby, uh, super animator from Tippet Studios in the United States. Um, and he did this really goofy animation, like for for like a, a test he was doing. 
for animation mentor and I remember like I was looking for something funny and uh, <laughs> he's really funny and I remember this you know like I say it's very atypical and I, I, I want to do something challenging it's super long as you can see it's uh, almost 400 frames basically that's a lot yeah it, that is a very very big amount of frames to animate but yes it's nothing heroic it's just him behaving like a chimp slash ogre slash you know monkey gorilla whatever so I just thought it was funny because it has a lot of, of, of changes it's not like in, in direction and timing you know he's doing all this stuff he's going he's, he's on fours then he's on twos you know he's acting like a gorilla he's going on his side you know he's going on his side here boom and there he's changing directions then he's changing directions again he's on fours he's on twos you know back and fours twos fours jump uh, you know, lands, keeps going, goes by camera, does this really crazy stuff, stops and just kind of throws his arms back and forth and kind of goes on top of his arms and does all these crazy things. You're just like, wow, that's intense. So that's uh, basically, yeah, what, what I'm going to try and, and, and show you guys right now um, with our Bumblebee guy. Um, so what I will do first is... What I would uh, start doing, usually what I do first is I, I try and put the character into layers, basically, um, to see what it is I'm going to animate first. And uh, in this case, I would try and, because he's a very complex ca character, uh, I'm just going to select, I can select the stuff that I don't want to, uh, that I'm not going to use, and it's going to prevent me from seeing uh, this guy cor like you know correctly, because he's got all this stuff and it's very annoying. It can be very confusing for posing. So I will select the things I'm not going to use or that are going to be basically, you know, bugging me and uh, I am going to uh, put them on layers, display layers. Uh, it could be anything, anything you want, uh, maybe even these massive guys uh, that are pretty annoying. So we can create, I already have some layers here. Um, let's see if this is, no, I think these are from the other guys that are here. Yeah, uh, don't worry about that. So I'm gonna select this guy and basically put it, you know, put it here and call it. He's a bit, you know, he's a bit. It's kind of strange, you know. He's a bit naked, but uh, you know that's all good. I just want to see a good silhouette, you know. Um, I can leave it on, you know, or not. Uh, I think it's it's good to put in layers. Sometimes the display layers uh, tend to break things, but um, but you know, uh, let's give it a shot. It's very easy. All you do is del uh, delete the layer and uh, you're laughing. All right, so we have this guy and this is how he looks. He's pretty funny. You can see all the all the mechanics, uh, mechanisms, and all the parts, which are insane. There's a lot of stuff in here. And this is a low-res version of the rig, actually. Um, yeah, you can see this is crazy. Huh? Look at this. All the detail in the world. It's unbelievable. It's so cool. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to start posing Bumblebee um, right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a 2D zoom so I can, you know, I can, I can basically uh, see the reference because he's far away and he's coming to camera. Um, so what I, what I, first of all, what I'll do is um, I am going to try and decide um, which ones are my key poses. Um, let's just for let's just hide this guy for now. We can actually display the layers um, and let's just hide him for now. The first step here is basically um, deciding which the, the the beats, the main poses are going to be, where the main actions kind of tend to fall in and, and happen, right? So this is a, this is obviously the starting point is a very very important um, uh, pose. You're going to basically dissect this this um, this reference. We're going to dissect it and. Uh, we're going to break it down into the main parts, the main poses, and then um, start breaking it down within those poses uh, with the secondary poses, which are the breakdowns, basically. And then you can add in-betweens and, you know, all, all that jazz, which you probably already have heard. But right now, we're going to do the, the main poses or the, the golden poses uh, or whatever it is they call them these days. <laughs> they have, uh, through the years, they change names, but... Um, I've already, I've already, um, if I go here, let me just, uh, I just want to select this guy here, 
So these are, um, this is a character that is hidden, but I'm just gonna show you guys so you can, just wanna see, yeah. So I've already broken this into the main beats uh, and I'm gonna flip through the frames. As you can see it's two, 238, 240, 243, then 248 and so on and so forth. These are, I'm just kinda going through the poses and these are the poses that I've chosen to show. It is very, very long as I've said so bear with me. These are for me, I, I could probably break it down into like, into less poses, but this is such a long shot that I just chose to have as many poses as I could to tell the story. I mean, at the end of the day, um, you know, at the end of the day, you're still gonna do these poses, whether it's this or something else. See here, there's a big jump between one pose, boom, and then up there, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Some ten or ten frames. Usually here, I would put a breakdown into the between these guys here. Um, but right now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna worry about the poses because also the problem I have is I can't see this guy very well. Um, you know, because he's out of frame, so it's a bit, it poses some challenges, right? And this is where experience and interpretation comes like, oh, wh wh what's going on there? What angle is he on there? You know, all these things that tend to, you know, because the reference is not showing that, but you know, you kind of tend to figure it out um, if you know the body mechanics and all that stuff. So, um, so yeah, um, let's see here. Yeah, that's basically it. These are my poses basically for him. And uh, right now I'm just going to do a very quick demo uh, with Bumblebee. I'm not going to pose this guy, as I said, in all these friggin' like, there, there's a lot, that's a lot of poses. Like, if this was a shot, for example, like, if this was a shot of a movie, and this, of a movie or a TV show or, you know, whatever, um, you know, this is 238, 238, here we go. Uh, what I would do basically, and I've get, I've had had shots that are massive, like I tell you, massive like this, like uh, 25 frame, uh, 25 frames, no, 20 second shots, 25 second shots, which is basically kind of all this stuff. It's uh, this is from 238 to 630, uh, yeah, so 400 frames. I've had shots that are 600 frames, you know, tops. I've even had one which was like a, a minute in, but not an no, I eleven in a wet digital in Planet of the Apes. That had like 50 apes in it, you know. I, I almost went crazy. Yeah, honestly, I, I think I did go a little crazy. Um, so, um, so yeah, what I would do in order to to approach a shot like this is I would work in chunks. Select. Okay, I'm gonna select. You know, 238 to maybe uh, the first. You know, um, three. The first 100 frames. You know, uh, 38. Uh, there you go. So this is 100 frames, uh, so 100 frames is four seconds, about four seconds. So that's, you know, that's more workable, right? So that's what I would, you know, you can, you can, all, you can also start like smaller. You can do it, but whatever it is you want. This is a big shot. Imagine this as like, you know, climbing a very big mountain or painting a very, you know, very big wall or, you know, even swimming going swimming across a very big lake or a chunk of ocean or whatever. You have to start somewhere, right? So you start small. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here. This is basically frame by frame. Uh, like I said, I've already chosen my, um, my poses, which are these guys. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the same poses to my guy here, to Bumblebee. So, so here we go, here, here we go. So I am going to start with this a little bit to show you. You know, I would select my, my, my main control and just, you know, hit S for key and start basically, you know, being very, very patient and observing, observing the reference and zooming in and 2D, 2D zooming in, you know, um, then again, in ILM we have a lot of tools that allow us to animate um, and I'm going to be, I may be using some of these tools here, but mostly really, you know, it's about being, uh, you know, analyzing the reference and trying to replicate what you see in the reference in your character. Uh, you start very, very basic, all right? You can see here, you can you can understand that he's basically on his tiptoes, so uh, when you go down in your knees, if you guys, you know, try this, um, we have these uh, these foot roll controls that we, you know, we can, we can lift, uh, we can lift the heels. 
but basically we're like gonna go so okay so that's more or less what he looks like although you know this foot would be more I can go this is why I go into world here you know uh, into perspective I mean and um, you know you're like okay well this is this is this is breaking this is intersecting everywhere you're like okay gee that's that's crazy so we're going to you know we can fix a lot of the stuff we can't fix it all so it's 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 a bit okay to, for some things to intersect, but mostly we're going to try for things not to intersect. What I need to do here is observe that this guy, although he's like almost like a giant pixel, he's bent forward because he's in you know he's he's um, he's on fours, right? So we have to make sure, um, and he's he's on an angle, by the way. So he's on an angle. Um, yeah, he's on an angle, a little bit on an angle. And um, the head is looking up, you know. We're doing this guy, we're selecting every time we select a control, we set a keyframe, and then I'm gonna go animate an auto key. So, uh, so whatever, every time I select uh, something, you know, it's going to um, well, first of all, actually, before I select that, I'm gonna go and select uh, this is x ray, so I can select the controllers. Here's when this comes in very handy. See this? Um, yeah, uh, it's just to see the silhouette better. But I'm gonna bend the torso because he's, you know, he's facing. He's doing this, uh, not so bent, basically, uh, but enough that it allows. You have to make sure, you know, you balance this guy out right now. He's going to have to move a little backwards like this. Uh, he's got massive feet by moving, as you can see, super, super big. Here we start introducing the foot roll. Um, and by the way, I'm gonna animate in stepped. Uh, that's how I animate. So. Um, it's very easy. Uh, sorry, that's no, not that. This is the foot roll guy. All right. Um, I don't think this foot is actually yeah a little bit maybe less. A little, you don't really see it, but you can more or less feel it, right? So what I'll make sure once I'm animating is on my preferences, you go to time slider um, or time slider. Where is it? Right. Wait, 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 I can never. Oh, I'm on time slide right now. Yeah, basically, I am gonna make sure that um, uh, 24 frames. Sorry, animation. Um, that this is on. Uh, I'm going to go linear here and stepped. So my my tangents are basically linear and you know stepped, um, coming out of the pose, uh, and and the intangent um, is is linear. But then then it goes. Uh, yeah, then it goes, uh, then everything's on your step, so that's that's all good. All right, so rock and roll, um, here we go. So I'm gonna very, very slowly, ever so, you know, so slowly start realizing, go from general uh, to particular, from like the, the bigger things to the smaller things. So, you know, the main thing always is the torso, the hips. So we have to make sure, um, you know, we get those guys correct. I think this guy's a little bit too much right now. I'm going to bend this a little bit uh, down like this and I'm going to try and see where you know you can see from the from the from the drawn from the reference here that his hand is in front of his uh, of his body right so we're going to have to go and like right now the hand is right here um, so that's a little bit tricky but it's alright because it's, it's default right so it's totally fine the problem, okay, one problem we're going to run into um, very, very quickly is that once we we basically start rotating everything else and we're like, oh, oh the hands, you know, suppose the hands, we more or less pose the hands in a way. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just very kind of rough at the moment. So that's, uh, that's the first pass of blocking. It has to be, you know, it has to be um, quick and dirty, basically. So as you can see, if I go world on here, these guys, it doesn't, it doesn't reach. He, he can't reach. So we also have the clavicles that we can, um, the shoulder con that we can lower down. You know, this is like a clavicle that we do. And basically, when your your arms are on the ground, uh, because we're animators, we know that your shoulders are going to be down a little bit. So uh, we're going to go and uh, try and uh, put these guys. Um, the the reason the reason I'm trying to and this all this is gonna come to me while I while I do this is there's there's pros and cons of everything basically and if I put if I put my hands right now my hands to world 
basically what's going to happen is I'm going to have to drag my hands when if I move the body the hands are going to be left behind and that can create some problems so right now I'm choosing to leave them with the body and I just kind of pose them more or less uh, where they have to be and then you know um, then I'm going to go on once I do a, a first pass of um, of of anim I'll um, I'll put them on world because I know that I'm, once I'm happy with what I have, then I will switch them to world and then I'm going to clean them up, right? So I can select both controls right now, I think, yeah, because this one, the translate one doesn't rotate, so, and this one doesn't translate, so, you know, you basically have two in one. You select both and you can, uh, you can rotate and you can translate and that acts as one thing, right? So you're like, yeah, damn, it doesn't reach. <laughs> Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to bend, we're going to select the torso um, and um, and move this, sorry, not component, go to gimbal, I like to go, yeah, gimbal at times. I, you're going to see me switch a lot, you know, back and forth, so I might even move this guy because he's on like, he's on his tiptoes a little bit, so, you know, um, and also what I'll do is basically I will select uh, the, um, the knee control if I can find it. Let me let me just move this around a little bit. Oh yeah, here it is. That guy there. Uh, the knee knee pull vector, I guess it is. The knee con. Why why do I want this? Because you can see that this guy's knee is basically behind. Uh, same with this guy over here. So if I know that this is the knee control over here, I'm hopefully yep, we got it. So we know that his shoulders are going to be very, very low. And we have a big range of motion because he's a car. Luckily, with a human, if you do this, you break him. With a car, not so much, which is, which is great. Well, with a car, with, with a transformer, basically. He's kind of like a car robot, you know. You, you, you have a bit of uh, permission to, to move things around a little bit more, right? So, um, so here we go. You know, that kind of looks all right. If you do this, it looks completely off-model and broken and busted. So you can move them around a little bit to the point where um, it's basically, it doesn't look like it's broken. That's pretty pretty straightforward, right? So here we go, selecting very, very patiently and selecting, you know, keyframing everything. Uh, I'm still in the first frame, by the way. So that's why this is very, very long. Oh, what did I do? What did I, oh, this is probably because these guys, I'm just gonna delete there. Yeah, I'm just gonna, so here we go, we got this guy and this guy, selecting, oh yeah. Oh no, this is this is rotating with the hand is that, is that right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess that well 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 well. Yeah, it does it. Okay, cool. Ignore me. Sorry guys, it's been uh, it's been a while. Um so here we go, more or less, you know, he still needs to be down, like he still needs to touch the floor. So this is like I said, this is rough. So it doesn't matter that it's not working from the get-go. Uh, obviously this is a huge problem right here. We need to um, we need to fix this. Um, I think I'm going to rotate this guy. Getting see this is very challenging already. This is very challenging, and this is this is good because um, it's putting me in a place where I'm not used to being. Like I was like, oh gosh, how do I get this guy into this pose when there's all this stuff, you know, in the middle uh, that I can't really you know get out of the way. Obviously that's busted, but don't don't worry about that. I'm gonna. You know, I'm going to slowly kind of, this has to be in front of him. So that's very easy. We go here and then we select his um, his elbow. We bring it around and we start kind of moving things around. And you're like, okay, cool. That, that you know, this is, this is good. Yeah, but this is good where this is going. Okay, sweet. Um, and um, here we go. We move this guy again and we're laughing. That's kind of cool. You're like, oh, oh, this is this is not good. You can see the intersections, um, intersections. Uh, I call him. Oh, that's his knee actually. Uh, this is his elbow. Uh, some some other people call him what, uh, penetrations. What do they call him? Intersections. Uh, whatever. There's a, there's a lot of. Uh, whoops, this not the one. A lot of words. Um, but mainly I call them intersections. Uh, I think this is one. Here we go. So um, here we go. We have things working better now. That's really good. As you can see, these are the main controls that I'm going to be using to pose my character. Uh, you have to look at the, you know, the. Um, that's kind of looking good. You can see this arm is pointing forward. This guy here. So 
you know, you're gonna make sure that this kind of, you know, looks like that. It doesn't have to be perfect at the beginning, you know, he's on a straight, straight line. It just has to kind of, it's a first pass blocking basically, right? So I'm gonna do some poses and then I am going to, uh, to go into my other file, my other bumblebees that I have here and basically, um, I'm basically, you know, switch. Um, and, uh, you know, we have, we can move this guy a little bit there. So we have, we don't want it to be hyper extended. That's kind of wrong. If we have this, we always want some, some sort of like curvature here, some bent in the elbows. Uh, although we, we, you know, we always, sometimes we, 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 you know, we straighten our, um, we straighten our, our elbows, uh, some of us more than others, you know, uh, some of us are super flexible, some of us not so much. But uh, generally, we want to try and avoid hyper extensions whenever possible because it creates a lot of pops. You can see this one, this arm here has a, a bent and more than the other one. So these are the things you want to start, you know, the little things that uh, we're going to try and try and look at, you know. So this is a bit, this is a bit of a problem, you see, because the knee is here, um, but basically the, if, if we zero this out we which we have to keep by the way the knee is always going to go with the with the, we can't go like this because look at the knee and look at the look at the leg it's and the foot is completely busted so what we need to do here is instead of just rotating the knee we just grab the foot and just kind of move it over like okay boom you there you go that goes with it which is great and that looks pretty good see it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just reference. We're not matching one for one, we're just kind of using it as reference. And, uh, you know, whenever it doesn't work, uh, because A or B, see here, I did that rookie mistake also. Uh, in trying to create some spaces, I, um, I basically broke the pose, which is totally fine. Uh, it's, this, this is good that these things happen. And um, now what I'll do is I will just open the knee a little bit and I can even move this guy a little bit here um, and still use more, man, this is a bit of a problem because this guy's completely intersecting here. So I might have to open this up here. Now that's, that doesn't work. What I'm going to have to do, okay, what I'm going to have to do is basically, okay, I think I'm, See, this is, this is very good, this is very good, because I already did this, but I don't remember how I did this. So what I'll do is I will, I will bring this guy forward like this, and bend him a bit more like that, see? That's kind of cool. Remember, he's on his fours, so... Um, so we have to make sure that he's well balanced. We're not cheating the camera, uh, ever. So we have to make sure that this pose works from every angle, you know? Um, it's probably I need to. I also created a ground plane, as you guys can see. So, um, so yeah. Okay, here's more or less, you know, pose one. What I will do is I would select. Uh, I think I've, I've keyed the controllers. The only controls that are used for now are basically this, this, uh, the both both legs, uh, the hip control. The chest control and the hands basically that's very very little control so uh and uh yeah and obviously the the, the elbows and the, and the knees which are somewhere somewhere there i think it's this guy here yeah a knee which they should have keyframes ready this guy and this guy and we're just gonna set keyframe and you can see in the graph editor we have this right here right so that's pose one, zoom out more or less, more or less, right? So then I'm gonna go to my, my poses that I already had, um, and then I'm gonna go, okay, and here we go, pose, maybe this one, since uh, pose two, see this one, it's very close to this one. I'm not gonna do that pose, I'm gonna come later on to this one, and I'm just gonna do the poses that are probably, you know, very, very different right now, because I'm marking, I wanna make sure this guy here, he's like, you know, he's, uh, he is not like like he is at the point where we call this pose a push off where he's pushing off uh, the ground so this is a very important uh, pose where his feet are going uh, you know they're going uh, they're still on the ground but he is moving upwards so he's starting to after this he will be airborne so that's what we want to show you know um, as you can see, it's kind of cool because he actually he's in the same kind of pose. That's very funny. 
I guess I did a good reading of the post. This is, looks all sorts of broken. Don't worry about it. We can zero all this out. That's totally fine. There we go. That's fine. This looks weird, but that, that's, that's weird because the hands right now are going with the body, so don't worry about it. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be selecting these guys and zero them, in, zero them out. There you go. And uh, we're going to key, like, you know, position them again. You know, the head goes last because the head is, you know, we don't worry about that. I think I'm going to put this guy here. And, you know, more or less, you can see the arms are like, you know, in the crotch area a little bit. Maybe, yeah, I believe this guy, I believe this guy has a bigger, he's on his tiptoes. So you can either go do this, but, but this kind of looks weird. What I would do here is I would just kind of, I would just move uh, move this guy up like this. Uh, I would zero the foot roll control down and I basically create my poses, not through the foot roll control, but um, through, through the rotations uh, a little bit, you know, and uh, just trying to replicate the, the reference. Same with this guy, I would zero this guy out. And um, and I'm gonna move him up a little bit and do this, all right. And um, here we go. And then again, select the controllers, which I'm using to pose right now, uh, and just kind of move them. You're like, okay, that looks cool. Remember that. Remember that we have to basically remember we we've used the clavicle also, so we have to go back and and kind of zero everything out and kind of. See, see what happened that that created this thing here you know and we need to they're still kind of down which is all right we're gonna zero the head control which is it's totally fine no worries uh, now it's starting to look better right you have to make sure from the perspective that this is this is working see it works from camera really. you're like ah oh, this looks all right but then you go here and you're like oh my god this is what what is going on you know we know that when we're in the air the arms are going forward so this is gonna go behind we're selecting the arm here and um, sorry, the arm is here and the rotate is here and we're going to move it away and put it in this area. So in this kind of crotch area uh, and rotate uh, the wrists down and uh, down about. I re uh, notice that I'm not using any fingers at all. Like I am literally not even touching the fingers. Fingers is something that comes last. I'm just putting, uh, you know, I'm just doing the main things first and fingers is the way last. The last thing that I would do if I had to animate a character that spoke was doing his uh, facial animation, basically, yeah, lip sync. So, um, so yeah, right now I'm just kind of sh making sure that this is working in, in, in space. Um, see, we can bring this, 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 uh, I'm, I'm acting here myself, you guys can't see me, of course, but um, I'm moving it back thinking how the human body works um, and you're like yeah that kind of works I mean there's some intersection here but like I guess if it's not too bad like it's not gonna create any problems down and why do we not want to cheat things and intersect uh, surfaces mainly because uh, that's gonna create a lot of problems for the guys in the other departments down the line uh, in ILM every company has that you know we, we, you work in this pipeline that if we break something and then the guys from lighting have to light it or the guys from creatures have to simulate something uh, and it's broken then it reflects poorly on on you as, as an animator so we want to make sure that we're taking the time and making things really really work here you can see there's a little bit of a this is really cool there's a little bit of a, of a curvature in the spine right so right now I had selected him and um, and zeroed him out, but um, I am going to go in and see this creates a problem with the arms. Oh God, that's why you don't have to pose the arms first. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, this is why we're doing this, so we can learn, right? And he's he's actually, he's not straight to camera. He's like on an angle, as you can see. And I'm moving the head, all right, but like, it doesn't matter. We can choose to put everything on a world space, but you know, this is it's better that things move and go with the body. You can always kind of go in and then later just kind of move them. This is easy. You already have the, the arm uh, pose. So all you got to do is just kind of move this a little bit further away, you know, and up. And uh, and that's it, you know, pretty easy. This is very rough. Like I said, more or less, you know, something like this. So as you can see, you have like this guy and this guy. Okay, cool. This is good. 
and we're in 44 45 minutes that's that's crazy um and this is just too oh my gosh this really took a long time i was never going to finish this yeah but um as you can see uh if i select uh my main guy um my the one that i already animated what i want to show you guys is like maybe after this pose if i had to do a pose i would maybe try and do this pose this pose let me see which one i would try and you know maybe do that pose something that uh, let me try yeah not that one i would try and do yeah I, I would try and do that one basically yeah that's one i would do yeah so if we deselect this guy and we have our guy here so as you can see that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten frames <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You know, the, these are the main poses, and here he's going to be opening his arms, and we're going to have to rekey everything. You know, I'm just going to move this. What I would do first is basically another another way to do this is what you could do honestly if you could, if you had to like if 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 this is another way of doing a completely different or another approach not not different another approach, you could just basically do a first pass on his body. These are different approaches, you know. Uh, you put things on layers and it's totally fine display layers you know you hide his arms uh, the geo you go boom you know select um, select and add to layer um, same here you know you add to layer and you, you deselect all this stuff yeah you just make sure you're selecting all his arms you know and add selected um, and obviously let's not forget about this you can go back to the first frame here and uh, see where what we have here here select this guy and add to layer and just rename it you know b arms you know b arms so we have that right so that's cool because right now what you're going to be focusing on is just the main stuff just the main stuff so here this is this is it you know um, right now you're gonna be you're gonna be working with the hips and uh, and with uh, the legs and and the torso and that's it. This is a very cool way of doing things actually. And you can go here and then you can do a pass of you know you can go here and you're like see here he straightened his his um, his his spine completely you know uh, he goes from here he's still on the same position more or less you know but here his um, you know his uh, torso is completely, completely straight. Uh, you know he's he's more he's straighter basically. His head is always kind of looking in that direction because he's he's kind of looking towards there. You know um, his legs are uh, on the ground again. We can copy poses. You know we want we can you know copy and then paste back to the ground. See that kind of works pretty pretty good. Because he's not moving yet, but you know, we, we also have foot bank, we, we can add some of this stuff. It's just kind of weird because it kind of, you know, his, his, do we have a foot twist? What is this? Stuff? Yeah, that, 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 that's not, you're going to have to key it, key it, like he's in his tiptoes, you know, and stuff like that. That's it, that, that, that works. You have to realize where he is more or less, uh, you know, and he's starting to rotate towards there. Uh, this guy is kind of all right, honestly. Uh, we can we can put it back to. Remember, we can always go back and paste it here. You know, that's a little bit too much, too extreme. So yeah, see, we're gonna try and recreate the orientation of this this guy here. The torso is a little bit more. I have to select the torso, which is this guy. He's got a lot of moving parts, but we'll be. We don't want to put him towards like this because this is kind of breaking it, right? Because his, his hips are pointing somewhere, uh, it's kind of hard. But like you can see, the main axis here is in the middle. If you do this, it's like okay. Well, his hips are pointing this way, and his torso is pointing the other way. That's not. I mean, it's possible in Transformer, but like with a human character, no. All right. Um, there are certain liberties we can take doing this stuff, but uh, we have to kind of see since, since these guys are are very close to the humans. You know, we have to try and keep it as human as possible. Okay, um, you know, here we go, and then we can use the arms and so on and so forth. I'm not going to do everything for you guys because this is going to take forever. So, as you can see, if we select the controllers here, right, we have only uh, three main poses, right? Boom, boom, right? I already did a pass of the camera, 
you can see um, we can select just the torso and hide it one I mean one two three and there's nothing in between here you know well these guys should be basically if I select the, 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 um, the curves they should be uh, stepped uh, right here you can select it and put it in stepped stepped there you go so there's nothing going to be happening between these poses it pops from one pose to the next and then you're going to be doing all the ins and outs, in-betweens, breakdowns, and so on and so forth, right? So this is the main character that I use just to illustrate this purpose. Now, what magically is going to happen is I'm going to blow you away with some really cool stuff. As you can see, here we go. If I select my guy, and um, yeah, so you can see I already animated the whole shot here for you. I am going to select the torso and uh, basically go again here. As you can see, I have my character, boom, 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 boom. I wanna hide this little weird thing. Sometimes things break. Uh, I don't know where that goes, but it doesn't really matter because this is just a, just a, like a, this is probably arm something. It doesn't matter, I'm just gonna hide it because it doesn't really, this is just a demo that I'm doing for you guys, so it's totally fine. So if I select all my curves that have all my controllers, uh, I can do I you know click select all, and you can see all these curves, you know, all the animation I put in every single tr controller here. That's a lot of keyframes, guys. Uh, this is 400 frames of keyframes. It probably took me around, if I remember correctly. You can see now it's going to play better. Boom! See that? It's all in stepped. It's all in stepped. And it's hitting the main poses that I chose. Um, so I think this whole thing took me like about a week just to do the, that's a lot of poses. Usually in a shot, you will have maybe 10, you know, in a very long, in a very short shot, sometimes you have two or three poses, you know, or five. This is, this is a lot of poses. I don't even know how many they are. I just know it's a lot of poses. So, oh, sorry, this is zoomed in a little bit. Um, so there you go. Th these are my main my main poses that I that I chose to um, you know we can go one by one, you know as you can see it pops you know it's like boom boom and this is the other guy. I mean I can unselect I can I can unhide my other guy to see how far away. It's not too far, right? You can see look it's not too bad. This is the other guy. This is my main guy. But as you can see the other one I paid a bit more attention because um, I wasn't really talking and trying to explain what I was doing, I was really kind of, yeah, here, I missed a few things, but that is, all, honestly, it's not, not too far off, look at this, it's not bad, not too bad, very, very close, right, so anyway, the first guy that I used uh, with no keys, and here is my other guy, I'm going to select the, the hip or whatever control, you know, whichever controller all have the keys, and and I'll show you guys, you know, the key, the the poses, you know, one by one, boom, 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 doop, doop, doop. You can you can relate to the reference. You can see how it relates to the reference. It's pretty great. This part was really challenging, uh, getting it to work, because you're like, what? How did he? What? You know? And and. Um, and yeah, you can see I'm not cheating anything. If you see it from this side here, you can see it works. It's all in step. Oops. Wait, let's just go here. Okay. That red thing here is my camera, so don't worry about that. Um, let's just hide this. Did I hide? Yeah, that's fine. So as you can see, um, yeah, here we go. Here's the camera. Everything kind of works. And he's moving forward and he's doing all the stuff that he's doing there. It's just on step right now. It's just the main poses, right? Uh, it doesn't have any finger animation, so it's not it's not perfect, but it works. It works really well, and it kind of has all the all the things that I'm looking for, you know. And if I show the camera, if I go here, show camera, as you can see, my camera is kind of following him right here, right? That's my camera. It's kind of starting to move and tracking. Well, you know, following him and this when he's doing all his his, his stunts. Um, and um, yeah, that, that, see how I'm matching the poses as, as, as close as possible. And um, what I'm going to do here is basically, uh, I, I put things in layers also, uh, so you guys can see it's not this. 
probably here. This is what I used here. You go. See, these are this display layers. Layers. I basically hit the things that were distracting me from when I was trying to hit my poses. So, so there you go. You know, with all his gear, without his gear, kind of what I did before, basically. So yeah, it was just basically some of like I say, some poses were that was easy because like we were trying to look for the separation of the arms and you know the angle of the elbows and and all that stuff. And this was tough because you can't really see where his arm is going, so you have to rely on experience to know that the arm can't go, you know, can't go like too back, too far back. See, so he's starting to lift his his right leg. And he's starting to plant, and you, we can see the base of his foot, base of his foot, and all of these beautiful little things that we have here. It's um, it's quite amazing. Notice that uh, when he's putting his um, his arms, his uh, hands on the floor, I am not doing the fingers. The fingers are kind of there, but it's just the default pose here. They're intersecting, as you can see. I can go here and uh, skadoosh. See. Um, yeah, everything is intersecting, but it's fine because this is just blocking. It doesn't really matter at this stage. We're just trying to like, you know, it's like, how do I get this guy? What is this pose? Seriously, it looks like a like a spider. It's like, what is this? You just see like this thing. You're like, well, how do I get Bumblebee into that position? It's impossible. But yet, I don't know how I managed. I guess I was really focused or something. Um, I, yeah, yeah. I, I like I said, I, this, this wasn't intended. This exercise wasn't intended for this, but I thought it was a very cool example because where where is his body? Like honestly, where is his body? Where did this whole body go? And if we go to perspective, you realize okay, if this is more or less what we're seeing, basically, you're like okay, what happens if I go like? Oh my God! Look at that. Like he's doing some yoga pose or something, right? That's pretty crazy. But still cool that we have the detail of, of the foot lifting there, you know? Uh, that's so cool. I mean, look at all the detail. You got. I mean, I'm, I'm still even even animating the hips here, I think. Yeah, you can still kind of animate this stuff, you know? I have some rotates here, uh, as you can see, which is really cool. You can always go to the graph editor, see the curves. Um, and uh, you know, and this this continues. Yeah, this is this is very cool stuff. Um, I am trying to okay, selecting this guy, and I'm just gonna go through the poses with you guys, um, so you can see. As you can see, I'm just you know he's he's um, he's leaning his arm on the on the floor. I have it, you know. Uh, this arm is bent, leg moving forward. Everything according to the reference. Everything it is. A big shot. That's a very cool dynamic pose. <laughs> he looks like a kid, right? I mean, look at that. Look at that curve line of action. Like it's going like this. So I'm trying. I, I guess here I could have act, I could have worked on the line of action. It's not too bad. As you can see, the head is there. The head is there. You know, the weight is kind of like there in the middle. Same as this. I could have pushed a bit more, maybe. But you know, all in all, it's not that bad. Um, there's some things we couldn't do with Bumblebee because he he although he's a very um, you know, uh, anthropomorphic character, that was the word I was thinking, anthropomorphic. Um, you know, his, his proportion is not exactly, and he's uh, like a human, so there's we cannot hit every single pose perfectly. So, you know, arms on the on the floor, as you can see, again, there's no, 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 um, I mean, there's some stuff here, but that's because I'm selecting something different. If you select the fingers, you can see there is no animation whatsoever, nothing. So yeah, you won't find any animation on the fingers. I was just doing the hips, uh, torso, uh, and legs and arms. That's everything I was doing. And I think, I think I have, um, I don't know, yeah. So there's, there's this and you also have, is it this guy? No, uh, this guy. And you have um, the arm, see? This is what I did when I was blocking. This is, this is what I was telling you before. You know, I was doing this guy. I was hitting those poses because I knew that if I hit these poses first, um, I could then make the arms work. Like, where has his body gone? Honestly, what? It looks like a ball. It looks like a like a I, I could get a sphere here, and it, he kind of you know it's like a lollipop. You you know it's insane. But look look at this. Look at this. This is crazy. All the cool things you can do. And if I turn on the arms, you know they're still there. It's amazing. See, it's like a very Spider-Man kind of thing. 
and it works. It totally, totally works. Um, amazing, amazing. I love it. Uh, so, yep. Uh, continue, you know. <laughs> I love this face. Like, yeah, baby, sweet. Here I come. Um, um, yeah, he's a very funny. You, you have no idea how funny this guy is. He is one of the funniest people I've ever met. He is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Will Groby, you can look him up on, on, on YouTube, yeah. Uh, or Animation Mentor or something, yeah. He's doing more um, uh, storyboards these days, basically. Continuing with the blocking, you know, we can, you know, we can show the arms. That is total, oops, careful there. You know, we have this. And then to our last pose, right here. And this is where the animation finishes, right? So, um, okay, we can we can do a movie, guys. I'm just gonna do a movie for you guys. Uh, do play blast. So you see how this plays. Although we can also play it in real time, it's more or less real time in, in Maya right now, so that's really cool. I have to say it was a very challenging shot. I was kind of doing it on my between projects and I was showing it to my friends. Some of them never really saw it and then they, they saw this and they're like, what? Are you crazy, man? Like, you've been really busy. And I'm like, yeah, you know, sure, why not? You know, I could have gone and played ping pong every day, but I chose to, I don't know, do something that, um, I don't know, that was fun and different, you know? So, um, so yeah, they were impressed, uh, which is a good thing. You want to, these guys are some of the best animators, you know, you know, in the business, right? So it's really cool. You don't really expect Bumble to do all this stuff, right? So it's always good to, to impress your, your fellow uh, workers, even supervisors. Um, close this. I'm going to bring this guy down here. And here you go. Look at that. This is a play blast on step, and it basically has all the poses there. Pretty rad, huh? Honestly, if I had to do a tutorial, uh, you know, step by step, pose by pose of how to do this, it would take me weeks. Uh, I'm all I'm already at an hour uh, of video, and I uh, still have to show you the spline version, which is coming up. I just want to show you guys this, which is really cool. Pretty cool. Check. Oh, that's cool, huh? I like it. Yeah, it's impressive. When things start moving, you're like, wow, yeah, this is really cool. All right. So, <laughs> I like this this thing where he goes with his arms like, yeah, right there. I think it's there. Bunk. Yeah, there. That one there. He's like, he goes down and he flaps his arms forward, but I'm going to have to add the break down there. I'm like, what is going on? And then he comes back here, yeah. I've exaggerated some poses uh, where I could um, and uh, toned down others where I should. So hopefully this all makes sense for you guys. I love that pose, 384, that's really cool. 384, let's go to that pose. 384, very, very cool pose. And let's just do something right now. Let's just unhide uh, my other bumblebee which is my splined version of uh, our hero guy. So basically this has, um, what, sorry, while this guy has everything, uh, all his attributes, as you can see, in stepped, basically meaning, uh, for example, if I had to, it's popping from, uh, I'm just uh, creating the main poses <clears throat> with, you know, flat tangents, step tangents, basically. And he goes like, I'm holding the pose for one, two, three, four, however amount of frames I'm holding the pose, the other guy is going to have all this. I, I can choose to basically, let's, okay, let's try this. I'm gonna try, let's try this. I'm gonna select all the controls on my step guy and I'm going to spline them. I'm gonna turn everything into spline so it's gonna be all, um, everything's going to, it's not going to pop anymore, basically. So it's going to work because there's a lot of poses and that's very good. As you can see, you can see now there's no more popping. There's fluid motion between poses and that's great. But at the end of the day, it's very, very floaty, very, very floaty. Um, but that's fine because obviously, as you can see here, there's giant gaps where it's just kind of like, if I had to select this guy, you know, uh, for example, like torso or whatever, 
uh, from here to here, from 423 to 431, there's this massive uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you don't want to have 8 frames of nothing. You, you, know, you don't want to let the computer do whatever the computer wants to do between this frame and this frame. You want to put some, some breakdowns and as the same, like for example, here, you know, this, this part here, no, no, here. See that is I I knew that if I did from, I went from here to here the computer is gonna go like straight there and we don't want that because the breakdown shows that the arms are going down and then up you know it's doing this really crazy stuff so that's why I did another pass later on and um, I'm going to go back and put everything to stepped so you guys can compare what I had before what we had before. I love blocking in stepped, uh, that's how I block, even whatever, dinosaurs, you name it, you know, uh, but you know, I've, I've, I've done other stuff also, like in, in spline or layered or, or, or you know, whatever approach. So here is our hero guy, again, same poses, you know, let's compare, uh, I just hit the, the step guy, as you can see, he's got his ears, you know, his ears up here. But then in the other one, the spline guy, this is the latest guy. You're going to see he's very fluidly glowing, going from one to the other. It's very impossible to see this. But if I do a play blast, hopefully this works. Uh, let's find out. You're going to see how... I see that? That's really cool. It's just kind of matching every pose that I was kind of doing at some stage. You know, it's kind of doing the pose. It's kind of hitting the pose and then coming in and out of it. So, so yeah, that's really cool. See, it's following the poses, and it's doing, it's creating motion between them, which is very nice. I mean, let's just cut it here because it's it's really really long. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's cool. So you can see this. The green guy is the spline version, like the full. Final animation um, guy, as you can see, it's super fluid. You can't really see it because it's it's very hard to see. It's like you're seeing some three D stuff there, but it's kind of matching the poses, which is really cool. So I'm gonna close this, and I am going to hide. I'm gonna hide this guy, the the old guy, the the. Um, what guy am I talking about? Um, I'm going to hide. Um, stepped animation guy and I am going to show you now the final version if I select all the keys right now this is the final animation as you can see final animation guy and uh, as you can see look at the see, see the difference look at look at his look at his look at his hands look at that look at that beautiful uh, fingers play you know and we can we can go in here and I've kind of had to solve some problems look look at how he's you know doing with the wrists and his and he's doing all that stuff and look at his fingers coming down and then hitting, doing a fist. I thought it was cool that he was doing a fist, although Will is not doing a fist, you can't see it. He, he wouldn't do that because he would hurt his hand because he, that's concrete. I thought it was really cool. He could be like, <clears throat> like a gorilla, like, you know, hitting the floor. And then he could, you know, splay his fingers last minute. Whoosh, see how the fingers are kind of, you know, they're kinda, if I zoom in here, when he's coming down, the weight is... You know, opening the fingers there, that's really cool. See there? And same here, that's really nice. When you take the weight, your fingers are always going to splay. Um, whether it's the, your, you know, your, your toes or your, your fingers on your, on your hands, you know? So I thought that was really cool. Um, if I'm going to go six, I'm going to... See, that's weird. I have to fix that. That's weird. Um, I'll fix it. Not right now, but I'll fix it eventually. And then let's just um, hide. Okay, I guess not. Is this this guy? I'm just thinking out loud, guys. Sorry. Never mind. Um, I just put some lights on. You know, um, I don't know what you like better, but let's just let's just do something. I just want to change the color. Um, Color management it creates this weird enable color management. It's a bit darker now, but it's kind of cool. Um, so as you can see now, I'm just going to play it. There you go. That's the final product, basically, right there. That right there is the final product. I'm going to turn on this, the background so you can see better. 
so we can see we can judge the camera move right there pretty neat huh it almost plays in real time but um, let's just uh, I'm gonna select all the controls so you guys can see in the graph editor um, what I've done with my curves but as you can see there's almost look at the graph editor there's there's keyframes in every frame for 400 frames look at that and if we turn off the ref if we turn off the ref and this will play even smoother give it a sec see there That's really cool, huh? Amazing. But I've gone in and um, let's go again. So like this guy, I've gone in and I've done every single. D Remember there were there were like chunks before where there was no keyframes. Literally now there's almost nothing. Look at that really cool hand pose. Look at that. Look at that cool hand pose. See, that's the kind of stuff you do in polish. You know, you start breaking things down. And um, and paying, you know, to, even if it's not in the reference, uh, it doesn't matter. Like you can't tell. But I'm like, I think that's really cool. I'm gonna put this really cool hand pose here because why not? You know, you have to make it look cool, right? And look at this bounce, like <laughs> with his with his right hand there, <laughs> and all this all the jitter and all that stuff, just creating the force there, you know. Um, and see here, what I've done, if I'm not mistaken, let me just uh, select this. I, w I have probably separated the um, the arms to no longer be in world. Maybe I have baked it down before later, but no. Yeah, as you can see, see I'm moving the body and the arms are in world, so they're not going. I, I've separated. They're not in local space. So whatever I do to the body does no longer affect the arms. That's the the, the big polish pass towards the end, and um, you know we can go here and zoom out a little bit. And you can see, see, I'm, I'm, I'm taking time and I'm posing the fingers. I'm putting a lot of effort into all this stuff. Look at, look at this. I mean, what? I even bent one of those fingers. Like he's going, it's like, I guess that'd be cool. Like you know, maybe the weight his finger went the other way. I mean, we do that. We don't notice that, but sometimes when we're leaning onto onto things, our fingers, you know, kind of collapse into each other. You know. And that's fine, and that's totally fine, and and this is fine that it's moving because our hands slide, and then they come to a stop, you know. So that that hand is doing that, and then this one's kind of like bending, you know, um, like twisting in these weird angles. Um, and you can see the, how the the fingers play there. Um, all this, there's a lot of detail in here. You know, I can do. I have this really cool tool where I can. You can go slow motion. Look at this. This is really nice. That's really cool. I forgot I had this actually. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play this for you guys. Actually, let's play from the beginning so you can see it in slow motion. I'm gonna do one in slow motion and then I'm going to do a play blast and kind of finish with that. You can see the head kind of doing this thing. And I think I even I even animated the ears, the little ears in his in his uh, helmet. Yeah, there you go. The He's like, what? There you go. And then he kind of go back in. I even animated the doors in his back uh, to uh, react to all the all the motion. And now if I do a play blast, let's do a play blast, final play blast. That's a lot of work, guys. I think it took me about, honestly, because I was doing it. I mean, I did it in a spare time. It must have taken me all in all like two weeks if I had to like put the amount of days and hours, two weeks of work to do this whole thing. And and sometimes it's kind of hard to focus, you know, because it's so much work. And um, but at the end, I was getting really, um, really motivated and, and inspired. But like, it's a very long. I then looking at it, I'm like, why? Couldn't I just pick something that lasted for like, I don't know, three seconds, you know, four seconds? Why did it have to go for like, you know, 30 seconds or whatever? 25 seconds is ridiculous. It's a lot of work, but I learned a lot doing it, and that's very cool. There you go. Look at this Look at this fine pose at the end. It's really, look, at, look at this. See? I'm just adding variation here. Same thing with the, you know? And then you can zoom in. Look at this really cool pose on the... On the, on the um, on here on his hand. Um, so if we play this guy, 
here we go. I'm just gonna make this so you guys can appreciate it here. Boom, on the big screen. This is it. This is this is the one. So <laughs> some of the guys thought I used motion capture. He's like, Who, did you use motion capture for that? And I was like, nope. It's like, no way, man. You, you're going to tell me you animated all that? Like, yep. Well, that's that's a compliment. When they tell you you use motion capture, it means you're doing something right. Uh, it means it's very, very fluid. And uh, that's, that's what you want to show, you know? Um, yeah. So that concludes, I think, I hope, um, our, our lecture. Um, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I, I, I certainly did. Um, it was like, it was very challenging, and um, and yeah, in every pose, trying to get this character into these crazy poses, you know, like stuff here where you have to figure out where the body's going, what's rotating when, going where. Um, it wasn't easy at all, you know. He's a heavy character. He's like three hundred times heavier than a human being, you know. So he he's very similar. Remember this part here when he's doing this. See how I'm breaking down the arms and is doing what the reference is, what Will is doing. So yeah, it was really cool. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And just for kicks, we can go here. Hide the ref and go to the perspective view. And there's a chopper coming outside from my house. That's also cool. I live in next to Kensington Garden, so there's a lot of choppers all the time, I think. I don't know. Something with the, those, uh, you know, the, the royal family or something, I don't know. So yeah, uh, let's just hide the cameras, uh, cameras, and uh, rock and roll. This is it from the perspective view. Our little character is alive. Can actually make it here. That's really cool. Let's get a cool end, camera angle. I want to get it to where yeah, I see something around here. It's just kind of going that way. There you go. See? Yeah, it works. Yeah, so that's using, having used ref, interpreted it, uh, used it whenever I could, and um, and it would be the same if we had, you know, tr you know, doing the Transformers movie, when we're doing Aladdin, Terminator, you name it, you know, we, we, this is what we do, we use a reference, sometimes we stick closer to it, sometimes we don't, when it's animals, so dinosaurs, we use, um, we use, um, when it's dinosaurs, these animals basically. That's what I was trying to say, yeah. Uh, and uh, and try and, and basically see the weight and and the, the way these creatures move. So people, when you know, the audience sees the sees uh, sees all the stuff in the theater or at home, they can they can connect the dots and realize that this is based on a realistic motion. So that's what we're trying to do at ILM: just create the, the most realistic motion, uh, you know, possible, um, hopefully ever done. Yeah, and um, so far so good. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this, and um, yeah, and that was it. That's an hour and 18 minutes. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.